Hello and welcome back to the cove with more EU4 Relent Wars Push East. We are at war at the moment against Genoa and France and a couple of other smaller nations, but we are making solid progress since uh, we're kind of uh, sorted for the achievement for now. We're waiting on our Siberian frontiers to finish up so we can continue on expanding, uh, but we'll get to that when we do. In the meantime, we're focusing our attention over here and uh, we're going to try and break France from the Commonwealth. So we can start dealing with our rival who is just more than a little bit annoying. So either way, at the moment we have uh, taken the capital from Genoa, which is fantastic. Our army is starting to go ahead and uh, work on some of France's uh, forts. And over here in Mantua, yeah, we have a uh, we have a fort. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start keep sieging it and uh, build up some spy network to help us out there because this one is taking us some time. But either way, since we are making our way away from our spy network with these guys, just want to check, is there anyone worth noting? Not particularly. No, I don't think we do. Uh, we'll just let that disappear. That'll be fine. We are getting close to annexing Perm, which is a very nice. Uh, we have a decent amount of spy network with France, so that should help our siege ticks. And uh, then, oh yes, Geneva. They're being sieged down by Burgundy in another war. So uh, yeah, that is uh, what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and start our spying. That should be fine. I don't expect this to go on for too long. Our days are fairly long. Each siege tick is 49 days long. They have some very solid defensiveness, which is a bit of an annoyance. Uh, if we have a look here, yeah, an extra 86% is ridiculous. So that is uh, improved fortifications, a reform for defensive stance. They have some wall bonus, defensive mentality, the party establishment. Oh, sorry, the uh, Privy Council Establishment Act and a little bit of power projection so that is uh rather costly but it is what it is uh we did just get another opportunity to gain some opinion with perm which is about to become non-existent so we're going to go ahead and pick up the diplo power that'll help us out quite nicely uh we have some troops standing by just in case they try to fight us back over here uh, so i think we're in a good spot oh and we can call in our allies Oh, we must have enough favours now to call on in Austria. Well, uh, you know what? As it stands, uh, let's just have a look. A hundred and, oh, sorry, 18,000 troops. Ver uh, yeah, you know what? There's really no benefit in calling in Austria. We'll let those favours keep on ticking on up and we'll uh, go ahead and use them later. I think we'll be uh, as well off as we can be for now. Uh, let's also make sure that we do go ahead and uh, start barraging these walls. Any progress is good progress. Uh, let's see, this is a level 2 fort, so we only need 6,000 troops. But we will, of course, leave a couple more than necessary, uh, just in case there's any attrition. The remainder, we can uh, back off at least a single province and uh, mitigate our attrition. All right, Spain is fighting people over in the New World. Cool for them, I suppose. Uh, let's see, tech-wise, we are three years ahead, so I think we hold off on our espionage idea. Uh, that'll give us an extra diplomat and some advisor cost reduction. Yeah, nice to have, but I think the technology is going to be better. It does look like France has just lost another bout to the Ottomans, so they're not looking too strong right now. Oh, and there's some of Genoa's troops. Excellent. We will uh, keep that in mind. Uh, let's go. Oh, where do we travel to? Maybe. Oh, we could go the whole way around. That's a little excessive. Uh, let's just stay where we are. We did see that they had at least 16,000, which does outnumber our current siege numbers. So uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, let's see. Can we afford any barrages? No, we've already got a wall breach. What could we do? We could offer an assault. I would use up a fair few of our attackers' lives, and I don't know if that's really that beneficial. No, they're going to be far too defensively uh, 
well stocked for that for now. I think we're just going to have to uh, let that be. Oh yes, and as soon as we get this one, we can go ahead and... Oh no. We can get their uh, 9,000 troops. Alright, that is good. Uh, looks like that is the integration of perm completed. That is fantastic. Uh, someone is no longer drilling because those were perm's previous army. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's march these guys across, and I think we're going to go ahead and uh, take out Kazan. We've got plenty of admin power right now, and uh, they are a nice little thing for us to clear up. Might even fix up our font, because right now, Russia is all the way over here. And, oh no, we're now a single font. Okay, we used to have a second one up over there as well, but no longer our troubles. Alright, mission fulfilled. Integration of Perm, that'll give us some Diplo power. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And then that would give us another 100 Diplo power with a Conquistador of a 6650. Ooh. That's rather nice. Um, do we want that right now, or do we try and hold off for a second, or do we just throw him into the fray? You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, use him as a general. Uh, we still need to go ahead and take a couple of provinces from Oirat. And, uh, yeah, colonize a little bit of, the, of uh, all of this land, but that's fine. And then what else do we need? We have a couple more that we need to uh, deal with over here. And that'll give us another explorer. Okay. Um, hmm. And gain some permanent claims on a few areas. Well, you know what? We'll hold off on that. Uh... That extra, ad, uh, extra Diplo power is rather nice. It does mean we can pick up technology on time. In fact, we could probably pick it up early, but we're going to try and wait it out. Uh, there's no benefits right now. Uh, we'll also see if we can hold out for the admin tech as well. Yeah. All right. Well, either way, we'll uh, let things go. Let's go ahead and chuck a general on over here. That 665 is going to be fantastic. No one's going to want to fight him. Uh, Ming is... And we were fighting. Okay, that's all good for them. Taking the Mandate of Heaven. Missions. Uh, missions and problems that I really do not care about. All, right, all that we want to do is just start making progress around here. And uh, see about getting France out of this war. Yeah, there's a few of their troops up over there. That's uh, a third of their army. We will keep these guys in mind just in case. Looks like they're trying to stack, wipe a couple of uh, tender ones from the Ottomans. That is a fairly advisable uh, tactic, if at all possible. Uh, we still... Oh no! We must have taken just enough battles for us to get to King War Score. That is very nice for us. Uh, so we'll leave that be. Let's go. Ooh, 17,000 from France. Well, you know what? We'll let them take that. They're not really going to want to mess with our troops since we have uh, more numbers than them. Uh, we do have some extra troops over there. In fact, you know what? Let's just quickly get our 665 over to there just in case. Because if we have to reinforce this uh, siege, I would uh, prefer the better general if at all possible. So we'll, uh, we'll let that be. Uh, also, too, if we can finish up on this fort, we might be able to pincer them into the hills. That would be particularly nice. That would give us a uh, sizable advantage. Oh, and it looks like they're running along then. Okay. That's uh, good. Uh, chosen Council. What's going on here? 25 admin power. Diplomatic reputation is cheaper. Oh, and a uh, national unrest as well. Okay, some uh, solid, uh, some solid options. Uh, that will max out our administrative power, though, so we probably want to come up with something in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Let's quickly bring you down over there. Let's throw any general we can on here. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, let's. See. Yeah, that fort is okay where it is. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, we kind of need to go ahead and spend some of our administrative power. I am very tempted to go ahead for a little bit of early uh, tech. But again, it just seems so unnecessary. So I think... Let's go ahead and develop. Yeah, I think development is what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, we'll go ahead and sort in some local tax by value. We'll do one of the... Uh, let's see. You know what? We'll do a couple of those. Bring those to uh, 10. That should give us an extra building space. And that should be enough for now. Actually, we may need to spend a little bit more, but you never know. We'll, uh, we'll hold out for now. We'll take the extra Diplo... Oh, sorry, not the extra depot, the extra administrative. That'll be fine. Oh, these guys are heading over here. We can't get around this fort zone of control. Ah, uh, that's that's remarkably annoying. Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, continue our conversions. We're going to try and release an orthodox no guy. So uh, let's go ahead and keep working on that. That shouldn't take us too long at this rate. Uh, our religious unity is back up to 100%, which is fantastic because of our bonuses. Uh, so that'll help out nicely. Government interaction with the Oprichina. Uh We don't have any rebels, so that's not necessary. Could lose some autonomy. Um, hmm. I think for now we'll hold out. But you never know. Uh, that could be useful. Mitigate the, uh, mitigate the autonomy before we let them, uh, turn into a new nation. That could be rather good for us. Uh, let's keep going. Them. Again, keeping a careful eye out. Liturgical reform. Let's go ahead and pick up some extra patriarch authority. Uh, that'll be very nice. We have been trying to grow that for some time. We're now up to 25%. Uh, so that will give us... Oh, extra local manpower modifier, which is good. Bonus missionary strength. Yeah, all things that are going to help us out. So, uh, yeah, no problems with that working, uh, trending upwards. Uh, oh, wait, uh, Rebels. Oh dear, Rebels. Uh, let's quickly get our reinforcements in there. I did not see them pop up. Luckily, we do have the numbers. That should, however, give us a bonus siege tick. Because whenever we take a fight and win while we're on a siege, it does give us progress. Uh, so that is rather good. Oh wow, extra administrative power again? Uh, Alright then, I guess we're going to keep on developing. Uh, we're still too early on tech. Yeah, still a year and a half away. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's do one of them there. Another two of them there. We'll pick up the administrative power. Yeah, keep a careful eye on that, but we seem to be doing alright. Uh, let's select these guys. We needed 9,000 troops for this level 3 fort. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll select this one. We'll create a new unit. We'll drop off two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all of the infantry. Uh, that'll be fine. And then let's take, let's see. How many cannons do we have? Five. So we need another 4,000 troops. Let's go ahead and... We'll leave an extra 5,000 there. We'll select everybody else and we will back out of the province. Again, minimizing that extra attrition that is unnecessary. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. That should do nicely. And now we're at 14% too, which is a, a reasonable a reasonable uh, chance of us taking the fort. All right, what have we got here? Lose all authority or lose money. And gain authority. You know what? Yeah, we're going to lose the money. I'm happy with that. We'll gain more money soon. Uh, so that's all well and good. Uh, two siege there. That is also rather nice. So that will help out. And good grief. How long are these defensive? 36 days? Okay. For some reason, I thought that it had been quite some time since we've uh, made a uh, 
any progress, which is technically true, but uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it's just taking its time. All right. Master of Mint has died. That is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and find a new guy. Uh, national taxes, unrest or unrest, I suppose. We may as well go with the national taxes, make a little bit of extra money. That should pay for himself, given that it's uh, 1.5 ducats a month. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that for now. Uh, that should also slow down our administrative power gain. We did have a level 3 fellow there for some time. So, uh, yeah, not the end of the world there. Alright, and we also do have an extra diplomat. Can we go ahead and... Who are fighting and can we piece them out? Okay, well, we can go for a, a white piece with uh, Geneva. But I think there's money to be had. Manchua. Again, a white piece. Hmm. Kind of looking for a little bit of money since we have invested in some burger loans earlier, so I would love to pay them off nice and cheaply. Uh, looks like Norway will gain liberty desire. Okay, well, if we're going to be lose, if, uh, yeah, we're going to be gaining prestige. And uh, these guys are already maxed on out. I think what we do is uh, double check our air, a 311. Uh, we cannot disinherit while there are pending events. Uh. Oh, fine. We'll uh, gain the prestige. It is what it is. I don't think that really hurts their opinion of us. Yeah, they're only down to 163, which we can easily bump back up again. Yeah, the Tyrant Overlord. Not super useful. Yeah. Oh, well, we, we will get to it. We will get to it. Uh, so that should be good. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, disinheriting that air. I think that's what we were planning on doing. Yeah, our prestige is tanking over time, so we may as well get rid of a bad air while we're at it. Uh, that's not going to change anything for us. But as we start to piece out these wars, we may be able to gain a little bit of that prestige back. Oh, and it looks like France is coming in for a fight. Let's quickly get these troops in there. Uh, everyone is fully reinforced. These guys are going to shift and consolidate. That is good. Let's get them there ASAP. Uh, hopefully, how many days away is this? 23 days? Ah, bother. Okay, well, we've already scorched the earth. That should slow them down. Uh, this is in farmlands, so we're not going to take any defensive penalties. Uh, let's go and... You know what? Let's give them something to be concerned about. Let's switch over to... Uh, oh, let's see. Who is over here? A silly... Okay, I'm looking for a Lev. A Lev. Where is he? Uh, not seeing that there. He's not over here. That must mean he's on one of our other armies way back over... Yeah, here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll swap him over to this army. Uh, that should be fine. And that way we can then quickly race across and uh, give them something else to be worried about. Uh, just see if we can prevent too much trouble going on. All right, but this is also our first fight with France, so let's see. We have equal discipline. They have much better morale and even on tactics. Okay, so this is going to be a hard fight for us to win. Uh, we are reinforcing, so that does help. Uh, we are sending in some more troops, and we won. Ooh. Alright, well that is fantastic news. Looks like they didn't want too much trouble there. Um, yeah, that's an extra progress tick for us, so that is fantastic, fantastic news. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Let's get this army over here. We'll take the... I guess we'll take the winner. Yeah? Although, uh, you know what? Maybe that's not actually the best thing for us. They'll probably lose. Let's go ahead and just move one province over. 
Uh, we need to siege that down anyway. That'll give us some more score. France might quickly swing back in this direction too, so we don't want to be too uh, silly. Although uh, that did just give us a 10 to 1, which is fantastic. Uh, they're heading... Yeah, to a different state. And you know what? We're not going to deal with those peasants. Let's quickly just make sure that we don't lose progress on this siege. Uh, this siege is taking quite some time to make progress. So we will uh, do what we can. Alright, they're still running away. It looks like the Ottomans are hanging around. So that's very good to see. Uh, yeah, still trying to be careful and not lose out any time on tech. Uh, Great Britain is dealing, oh well, has finished dealing with their religious turmoil. Uh, let's go ahead and believe our cannons. That is how many troops? 9,000. So that is enough for them to keep on uh, progressing. Let's select the other unit and uh, get them to go away. All oh, right, we did also lose those extra two siege ships, didn't we? All right, well, you know what? Uh, let's fix that. Let's go ahead and we'll take our siege general. We'll shuffle him across. There we go. And, oh. Uh, let's go ahead and bring... You know, let's bring over Lev. We know that where he would have been. Let's uh, quickly... Oh, we can't take that out. Bother. I was hoping we could jump on that one stack of uh, Frenchmen. That could have been rather nice. Oh, and a new Ivan of a 466. Now that is the kind of air that we are looking for. All right, so that's all good. We'll definitely let that be. Let's get rid of some of these because uh, they're beginning to take up a bit and I am forgetting uh, what is important for us to keep our eyes on. We'll leave the tech there for now. We'll leave the casualties, the loans, and the... Yeah, I think we're... Uh, we can all leave all of those. Yeah, let's get rid of the states, sell titles. Alright, that seems fairly good. Oh, Sweden has a succession issue going on. Alright, hang on a second. Maybe it's a good thing that I checked all of those flags. So no legal there. But what we do have is 100 favours and 100 opinion. I think in the previous episode we saw... A request relative as heir. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, some extra aggressive expansion. Oh no. Uh, that's that's not really an issue. But that may just turn them into a very wonderful uh, subject at some point in the future if things go just perfectly. But again, we'll see how that goes. Uh, one problem at a time. Uh, let's go and see about uh, removing the... Conquistador from here. We'll take the smallest unit there is. Oh, wait a second, that's not quite right. Uh, where is it? So, uh, Vasily, yeah, you're our siege general. Let's get rid of that. These two can merge again. Create a new unit. There we go. Uh, we're going to shuffle everybody else away. There we are. That's how we select the general, and we'll shuffle him across over there. That'll do nicely. Alright, and uh, you know what? While we're waiting on all these sieges, I think we just go ahead and eat Kazan. I really see no reason not to. Let's chuck Lev uh, Chuski back over here. Uh, let's go ahead and declare war on these guys. They are all alone with no friends. Uh, just very easy. And uh, you know what? Let's just go for a holy war. Makes no difference one way or the other. Let's confirm that war. You, my friend, can uh, destroy them. Let's turn off these extra forts that are unnecessary. Oh, Novgorod, and where is it? The one that Pern had. Yep, all the way out here. And you know what? Probably get rid of that one too. That'll be fine. All right, so that's that. We'll crush them nice and easily. Uh, yeah, it's only in the steps. All right, let's just uh, now turn our focus back to uh, 
Central Europe. All right, what have we got here? Cossacks. Border issues. Acasus Belly. Uh, or... All right, sure. We'll go ahead and gain the loyalty. I don't think that matters. I don't care if uh, Mongolia's opinion is dropping. Yeah, that's beyond our issues. All right, so we'll leave that be. Looks like uh, we beat up Kazan's people fairly well. Uh, they're heading... Level one fort. You know what? It makes no difference. We'll just leave it be. I, I don't really care what they do. They're not going to make any serious progress anywhere in particular. Uh, we have lost a couple of uh, claims on provinces, but again, that's not really our issue either. Uh, it will become ours once again in the future. Yeah, we're just going to uh, let things be and uh, keep on going. Section Neve is already been sieged by the Ottomans, which is nice. Uh, we'll keep working on that. Again, 57%. We just need to take the fort and be done with Manitoba. And it looks like the Ottomans have peaced out. Ooh, okay. Uh, what about have you done? Okay, we have a little bit of land that we can take. They took as much as they could get their hands on, or more or less could get their hands on. So at least we curbed their expansion there. Uh, we'll definitely take what we can get. Oh, these are some cause for no guy as well. So realistically, I'm happy to hand them as well when we release that nation. Good thing we've been working on all of these conversions. Uh, looks like France still has a couple of troops, but nothing too serious. Uh, let's see how, how... Oh, wait a second. Did we just get... We got black flagged. All right, that's uh, remarkably rude. Uh, let's head all the way over there, and then we'll shuffle back. Uh, let's just double check that I did hit the right provinces. Okay, just a funky arrow. Uh, that won't be too severe for us. Uh, we can happily uh, get green flagged again on our uh, occupied territory. And then we'll come back to... Oh. Stuck. That's not ideal. Alright, uh, let's take that instead. Um, hmm. Are we even making... Oh, we need 9,000 troops. Okay, you know what? I do apologize to whoever was watching and noticed that. I really thought that we had counted that out, right? I guess I just missed that. That is really unfortunate. This explains why we're not making progress. Oh, that is so frustrating. The amount of manpower we will have wasted is absurd. Oh, we're also maxed out on admin power. Goodness. Okay. Uh, you there. Let's just go ahead and barrage. Oh, no, we can't even barrage. We don't have cannons. Good grief. Okay. Um... Can we go for tech? You know what? 5%. I don't think I really care at this point. Let's just pick up the tech. Get the ahead of time bonuses. That's fine. Um, I, I'm done trying to balance that for now. Alright. So that's that. Oh, look at that. We're now making progress on our siege. 14%. And we're getting wiped over here because our troops got separated. Ah. That is infuriating. Can we retreat? No? Oh, that's not even a single group either, so we're losing. Oh, heck. We're going to get stack wiped over there for sure. That is very bad. Uh, can we bail? Lost half of our troops. Yeah, and we're... Oh, look at that. Retreating one province over. Who would have ever foreseen? Ah, such an event. Okay, and you know what? We can't even disband the unit. That is so annoying. Um... Yeah. So that's that. Uh, so much for our progress there. Let's... Wait, we don't have military access through there. Let's quickly head up to Geneva. We gotta break them down as fast as possible. Oh, look at that. Stack wipe. Who would have ever foreseen? Ah. Oh. 
And the fact that we've been wasting all this manpower on this fort too is, uh, yeah, we could have we could have figured out a few things a while ago. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, at least we've made progress now. Let's go and at least start to consolidate some of our troops a little bit, just in case we get into another bad fight. Uh, let's also have a look at what it would cost for us uh, for us to sue for peace. We're definitely going to go ahead and make them lose their treaty with. Uh, where is it? The Commonwealth. No, is that over in treaties? Wait, did they get busted up from the Commonwealth by the Ottomans? Oh, they did the hard work for us. Oh, well, you know what? Thank goodness for that. That at least means we can just go for cash. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll add war reparations. We'll see what kind of money we can make. We could make 2000 potentially. I think that's worthwhile. Uh, but we will... Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, we don't even have cannons over here now. Oh, this is frustrating. Um, yeah, we made a little bit of an error there. It looks like, uh, yeah, we got caught out, unfortunately. Couldn't have planned for the Ottomans to have peaced out, though, and uh, for us to get our troops moved. So... It is what it is, but, you know, hopefully we can make some solid progress in the next one. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.